Okay, I thought uh, thought tonight it was sloppy. We gave up a big play early in the, in the game. We gave another uh, a big play on a screen. Uh, offensively, um, had way too many penalties. You know, we started out pretty good drive, got down the field in the uh, first drive, installed in the red zone there, and then the uh, next drive we take a sack, and so that kind of puts an end to that drive. And then the third drive we're backed up and didn't do much there. So uh, we still got a lot of work to do. Um, be excited to get our players that we've been holding out in this preseason out there and get get going again. So, question? Yeah, Mike, considering that you didn't have Dalvin, Justin throughout the whole preseason, how much can you take away from what you've seen from the offense here? Yeah, it's really hard. I, you know, he, actually, from on all sides of the ball, I don't, you know, I, I feel like we're going to be pretty good, but um, you know, we still got to go out and prove it, and uh, you know, like. You know, we held out Kendricks tonight and Barr and, and uh, Hunter and Harrison Smith and uh, someone else too, I think, Patrick Peterson. And then, uh, you know, defense offensively is just basically those three guys. So, um, you know, I think, you know, part of the deal tonight, you know, when I was listening to the defense was, uh, you know, these young safeties played basically most of the game. And, you uh, so, you know, they were having a hard time making adjustments and communicating and checks. So, but, but it was good to get, go here on the road with a loud crowd. Uh, I think it was a good experience for a lot of these young guys. How do you feel that Kellamon closed the game? He seemed to get in a rhythm a bit as the second half went on. Yeah, I think he's, he improved in all three ball games. Um, you know, there was some good and some bad. How do you kind of look at the battle for the backup quarterback job since Brownie struggled? We'll, we'll, we'll look at it tomorrow and evaluate that. But um, we'll just look at it and evaluate it. When you talk about the safeties not communicating, was that an issue at all in the 35 yard score, the opening touchdown over uh, Bashad? No, that was, that was him. Yeah, he didn't cover the guy. Did you consider putting Kurt back out there? For the fourth drive, or were you fine after three? Yeah, I was fine. Just get him out. We didn't. We planned on not playing very long anyway, and you know I wanted to make sure that we got out of there healthy. You know he took a pretty good shot here on that second drive, um, but I, you know, I think if you look at a lot of the guys that played, that probably are not really ready to play yet, and so I've been very. Um, Cautious about playing uh, some of our guys because of injuries. You know, if we get if we get the wrong guys hurt, then we're going to struggle in a lot of ways. You talked about the backs and protection. I think after that Colts game, was that a similar deal with the sack on Cousins? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that was exactly on that one. Um, I, I know that they blitzed, but I don't know if we didn't squeeze or we didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear that. Uh, with Everson, did you see? Were you able to take away much from his first action? Well, I know he hit the quarterback a couple times. I know he had the one sack, but he, I know he hit the quarterback one time, um, and I thought he had another good rush. You know, we just wanted to see him on third down, see if he could, if he could still rush. How do you size up the Weatherly and Wanham battle at defensive end? Yeah, same thing. We'll evaluate it tomorrow. And figure How'd you it out. Wanham, he had a sack tonight. Yeah, I thought he. I, a couple of times I saw him rush well, but you know, part of that is I got to know who he's rushing on, and I don't. During the game, sometimes I don't know who guys are rushing on what guys, so um, you know that's part of it too. Just with roster cuts looming, just how many spots on the roster do you think are up for grabs roundabout in terms of, and then how much work kind of tonight could go toward making those decisions? Uh, uh, it's 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 tough to say how many. Um, you know, I think. Because I think you're looking at guys from other teams too. You're you're trying to figure out, you know, if if this guy is better than the guy we have on our team, and then uh, that gets that gets released, and then you know you're trying to figure out the practice squad and and uh, you know all those all those things, and making sure you got enough guys in case guys get hurt or you know like like we all, we basically ran out of running backs tonight. We're basically out of out of receivers tonight. <clears throat> Um, you know the other the other part is you know I, I think we're going to have to do some conditioning. You know I I know it was hot out there tonight, but those guys were sucking, um, and so we're probably going to have to condition the rest of the rest of this week and maybe some next week. I know you mentioned that uh, earlier in camp about getting the guys in shape. Was, was that still an issue then? 
Well, these guys played a lot of plays tonight, uh, especially, the, you know, the offensive guys. But, the, you know, special teams, you know, we had a couple of injuries on special teams, so guys had to go there. We had a couple linebackers. We had a few on there. And then, um, you know, and then it was hot, and they're playing every play, So it, and, and special teams. So I know there was uh, a couple guys that couldn't rise to the occasion there toward the end. <coughs> Janaris Robinson said on Twitter today he had surgery. Was that a knee or what was it? Well, you have to ask him. <laughs>